What is up guys, McDoubles back here with a brand new video. Today, we're gonna be doing the Beast and Blade build on Project Ascension. Today, it's gonna be random abilities, draft mode, because they have mixed the Malganus, merged rather, server with the Alar and the Area 52 server. So, it's all beginning to happen, guys. I've got some news we'll talk about throughout the video as well. Only the cool high points. And we got a whole 1-60 to 60 playthrough with a lot of fun stuff along the way. Will we get good abilities? Will it even be a solid build? I don't know, but I hope you guys enjoy the video. Let's get into it. So, it happened. Yeah, draft mode is back. We've mixed the Malganus realm with both of the uh, other realms, in fact, both Alar and Area 52. I'm on one of my old main characters, a guy that I've already got all the prestiges with, so I have the prestigious title, uh, which takes quite a bit of time, I guess, and I have the founder title as well. We're going to be using that one, and we're going to be using a brand new build with this video, guys, leveling 1 to 60 and the old draft style, and I've got some really cool stuff to show you guys because they've already added some awesome updates today which was may 18th and they've also announced that burning crusade is officially coming out on may 27th a little disappointed because i'm dumb and i thought it was the 18th but hey we still got some stuff to try and that's all that really counts i guess so i've got my guy with transmog ready and uh, we are going to be playing my friends from 1 to 60 building from scratch beast and blade yes it's finally here your combo point generating rogue abilities grant my tamed pet so we're using a pet build a stack of blade beast this increases my pet's damage by up to 25% and reduces their damage taken by the same amount because it stacks up to five times. Now, I'm going to have to acquire two spells that I will not have any way of starting with right now, that being Hemorrhage and Dispatch in order to fully use this build towards the max level. But I do have ways to utilize the majority of this enchant during the leveling process, so that's what we're going to be focusing on. This means what I need next is something like Eviscerate so that I can do this part of the enchant that says my damaging rogue finisher moves have a 100% chance at 5 combo points to make my tame pet's next 2 special attacks deal 50% more damage, which is nutty. So the whole idea with this is that my pet's doing 25% more damage, he's also then special attacking for 50% more damage, and he's destroying people. Now, the hemorrhage and dispatch parts of that enchant we'll get to if we get hemorrhage and dispatch, but for now, I'm going to be starting with my pet, which you can see right here. We have Little Dominator, and then we have Sinister Strike to proc the first and most important part buffing dominator up so the idea is to spam ss being a melee build while my pet literally eats this dude alive and i don't really have to care if i'm strong right so I, maybe i can focus on you know survivability or things like that but i do need to focus on making sure this little guy is strong so maybe the beast mastery hunter tree is going to be a super important one for me this is draft mode though we are back so to remind you guys because it's been three months of free pick draft mode is at level 10 i will start drafting my abilities i'll have three Three different abilities to choose from i can only choose one there's a whole rarity system involved we have uncommon rares and then we have epics and legendaries and you can only imagine that some of those the uncommons of course are the least rare all the way down the legendary being you know the most difficult thing to maybe get your hands on so that's basically the gist of it we're going to be doing this all the way to 60 and because we have the prestige battleground quest we're going to be doing more PvP in this video, boys, so it should be a good video. So we have pet build, check. We have PvP, check. We have probably other content regardless of that, check. And we have skill cards, guys, because it is draft. So we have a new skill card system and UI in the main game now, and this is pretty freaking sick. First of all, this needs to be acknowledged. All skill cards are actually permanent. You can just click them and learn them forever and use them on every character. Wow. This by itself shows that Ascension is moving towards being less like Blizzard, less greedy, less forcing you to grind for things that don't even make sense to grind, uh, and more pro fun. And dear God, could we use more pro fun in the gaming scene today? Am I right? I mean, come on. So here are the skill cards I got. They're all epic, so you know I'm real lucky, right? I went on all of my old characters, dude, and I just started clicking all the cards, man. I was like, oh my God, yes, I have all these new cards now, and I don't have to pick and choose and mail them to guys. It's so it was so bad, uh, but I've intercept you can't use charge with this I believe so this is a difference in uh, ascension while wow, compared to regular warrior This is good though because it's a three second stun now I also have intimidation my pet will have a stun as well That's two short stuns that may or may not share diminishing returns But I still think it's gonna be pretty solid. We have heroic fury to reset the intercept. We won't get that till 50 though and 
win sheer guaranteed so yes my friends i have three freaking stuns if you count the heroic fury and an interrupt carded on my freaking pet build so this should be good i'm gonna go ahead and start leveling though and we'll make some progress i'll see you guys at level 10 because that's when we get our first choice for a brand new ability all i can say is i hope this run goes well and like i said it's draft maybe this is terrible maybe at the end of the video we get so unlucky and it's one of those types of videos or maybe it's a domination video it, it really is impossible for me to tell right now but we'll see we have a great start i'm ready to go to Two prestigious caches, by the way. Don't know why I have two of them, but these are things that give me a reward for hitting 60, so lots of gear to await me as well. But anyway, guys, let's get to leveling. All right, guys, let's turn this in. Level 10, and all right, let's see. Fire Blast, Track Humanoids, Battle Shout. Guys, all of this is good. Battle Shout, I think, makes the most sense, though, because it buffs my pet, and that's basically what I'm trying to do. So yeah, let's do it, guys. And 12, starting with Raptor Strike, Shadow Word Pain, and Wrath. Wow, okay, this isn't the best. Raptor Strike might just be the way to go the problem with it is that yes i can macro it to ss and it's you know passive damage but it's truthfully only the amount of damage you see in the tooltip that's because i believe this scales with ranged ap like mongoose bite and counter attack so it's a little iffy if i plan to go strength and i think i do there's really no reason to be agi so i should switch actually and that's because i'm not using any real ranged ap stuff i'm using ss spam so even when we get the hemo and stuff i think strength might still be the way to go as a result uh i don't know maybe shadow word pain it's still a little bit of extra damage and i I don't know maybe it'll be good sometimes in pvp if we ever get into a fight two seconds later all right let's do it we're in a bg already level 12 and it's actually filling up guys which is pretty sick it's really really early in the morning right now and uh yeah we'll see how the build does it is literally a pet with the legendary enchant equipped and also the ss the shutter word pain and the battle shout so we'll have to see i'm very curious like everybody has a draft build like we have a bear in here for god's sakes most of us are low level but we have one guy that's pretty twinkish so uh yeah okay so remember when i spam sinister strike my pet gets progressively stronger so most of my damage should be from the pet all right this guy has the flag ss oh he's healing Come on, yes! Nice. How often do you get to see these types of people? This guy with no mount, just running in bear, but perhaps better, is this little dwarf with also no mount, running- Oh, oh, he does have one. Nope. <laughs> Nope, that was, it was his pet. Oh my god, with his little wolf. How often do you get to see cute stuff like this? Not often. Is this guy even gonna die? He's so freaking bulky, man. I give you props. Oh, I gained a level, did he? I think he did. He did too! Yes! It's the little dwarf, bro! Oh my god, he came through. Guys, never judge a book by its cover. Never judge a book by its cover. There we go. 13 and some change, man. Oh, look, they can't even believe it. Don't you love it when they- Yep, <laughs> when they just sit there for a second in sadness. I see a night elf in the back. Yeah, she has regrowth. So this is a person drafting a healer build. Respect! Oh my god, but you need to die, dude. Like, oh no, this is- Look at my damage, it's nothing. Oh, he doesn't even care that I'm on him. Okay, note to self, don't fight the twinks. Little dwarf bro's coming, he needs help! Go, 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 go. We just gotta freaking divert- Oh! I got it, yes! That was so- I had to have been at max range to click it! I had to have been at max range to click that, dude! This freaking troll is persistent, I respect. Dominator is on him right now. Well, if he can catch up. Look at him in the back, dude. My pet is not even fast enough to attack people. Yeah, we're gonna have to change that. Ooh, level 14! Everything's going right! New ability, by the way. Wind shear, there it is. Arcane intellect smite. Yeah, I'll take the interrupt. These healers, man. It's, you know, it's at least something. Oh god, he's here! He's here, I wind sheared the fireball. I did, but I take 50% more damage, guys. Let's not forget that. I'm gonna go up. There's no reason not to. And Dominator's just, he's putting in work, I think, probably. I know he's on him right now. I'm hoping he's doing big damage, doing me proud. Oh, wow, who killed that guy with Dominator? This guy, Pedro? <gasps> I think it's that dwarf, because I think he's the one that had this pet. Wow, that little dwarf keeps coming through, man. Yo, they aren't even going for the other guy. This is my freaking team. This is the literal battle of the ages coming up dude i hope you're ready i don't even have my pet this is so wrong oh god there's another guy coming wait that's not him oh god where's that guy hiding this dude didn't pick the flag up <laughs> why look at this guy look at this dude he has a lightning bolt shadow word pain i'm gonna go this way oh he failed the cast there we go it's the sinister strikes spam 
Oh, he's auto attacking me. Oh, 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 he got that one. That sucks. Oh, but we're over here. Oh, but we tricked him. He turned, <laughs> he turned, he turned anyway. He was <laughs> it's like on a 10 second delay. Don't you dare poly me. Look at this guy. He's what? Oh, and he's going to get healed to full, isn't he? Of course. And I'm going to get, I'm going to get polyed anyway. And there you go, Dominator. Just, just come on, do some damage. Y yep. Nope. That, okay. 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 Well, um, so currently Dominator's just off doing his own thing. I didn't send him to attack anybody, but it's just kind of pet mechanics on Ascension type of ordeal. I'm currently being chased by a guy with five levels on me. I have no way of beating him, but I'm giving him the little loop-de-doop and he doesn't know where I am. So, uh, oh, there you are, buddy. Where are you going? <laughs> Wait, where are you going? Come back. It's okay. So I'm actually, oh, here he is. Here's a big boy. Here's a couple big boys. We wouldn't cheer that, but we'll just have to keep on running. This is my death, dude. This guy's a healer. Oh, no. They're going to cap. There we go. It's over. Level 15. I'll take that. All right, that was pain, but we're going to do a dungeon real quick. I'm only going to go through the abilities, and we'll jump back into a BG after I've gotten those levels, a few more talent points, and some more gear. So actually, guys, I just noticed something really, really odd. When we first read this tooltip, it looked like 25% more damage done and 25% less damage taken would be what happens with my pet when I stack it all the way up to 5 with that new uh, Beast Blade stack. But if you look at it, it actually seems to be a lot higher. See, at least for one of them, this says increases damage dealt by 50% and reduces damage taken by 25%. So that's a lot more than I thought. Level 16, by the way, Drain Life, Slow Fall. Seal of Righteousness, interesting. I don't think I want that kind of seal. I'm gonna go slow fall. That's not too bad. I like having a slow fall on every character anyway. I forgot about that. They added this whole level scaling thing, by the way. 15 to 59, apparently 60. I thought it was 59, but this is a, maybe he gained the level like before he queued. I don't know. But uh, yeah, you can queue all the dungeons now across all levels. That's so sick, man. Lots of XP, distracting shot, aquatic form, mind blast. I'll go mind blast. I might have to use that because, like, things are sparse. A rock biter weapon! Yes, man! That is AP. That is abyss. Literal abyss, dude. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go with that. Yeah, I didn't use a Wind Fury card or anything like that, so this came in pretty handy. So, okay, that was really, really good, guys. Dungeon spoils, by the way, will go strength. Oh, I got max level gear? That's so weird. Like, what was that? One thing to point out, too, is I made 20 gold in that whole dungeon. Like, that is such a good thing to do. Like, I understand why people just spam those. It's literally profitable. There's actually a surprising amount of low-level gear, but these people know they can make money off it. Don't you hate that? Don't you hate it? <laughs> When they just, they've already min-maxed it. I think I want to go for this kill maim. It keeps, you know, it speaks to me. Uh, it's 20 gold though, Jesus. But yeah, I'm going to go for it. But now we're broke. So yeah, I then proceeded to do yet another BG where I gained multiple levels and picked up the following abilities. Healing wave and disengage. Now, here's the thing. I also capped the flag at the end, which was pretty freaking sick. And yeah, we did pretty good in this BG as well. One thing I do want to point out is that we had multiple instances where the mind blast healing reduction literally was everything there was a healer in this and it paid off really really well so i think we did good you can see in this fight i'm literally mind blasting multiple targets who are rejuving and other heals are going off i even snuck a wind shear in at one point on the healer it's so fun dude so yeah the build is actually starting to work we're approaching the levels by the way where we can roll the hemorrhage that starts at 30 so keep that in mind okay and that is level 28 off that one which is not too bad holy nova mind flay teleport moon glade uh, i guess holy nova is not the worst thing in the world and then we've got slice and dice thunderclap soothe animal i actually don't know slice and dice is probably the right way to go right because like ultimately with this build i'm spamming damaging finishers right so i can end up using cut to the chase to just automatically keep getting my slice and dice back up so that's probably correct even at max so yeah let's go slice and dice that's probably a really good draft for me right now also we came in second place that's not too bad but it was a pretty fast game first place honor though and uh by a pretty Pretty huge margin too is probably because I capped the flag. Okay, we can also go into ferocity. 12% more pet crit, not too bad. I do hope I get mend pet. A lot of cool stuff I can do with that. Haven't got it yet though. I think I'm gonna take a page out of my previous series book and uh, go for some disengage synergy. It's probably gonna be sure-footed for me. This reduces the duration of all movement impairing effects by 20%, so it's pretty good in PvP. But it also says when I disengage, I clear all slow effects off me, so that's pretty good. This is gonna be a way for me to close gaps. All I have to do is uh, you know quick 
quickly turn around like that when I'm running towards somebody and I can use it as like a demon leap, which is pretty good. Level 28 is also really fast and we have a battleground spoils. Let's go strength. Grub is paws. Really good. We'll use that. Bearded bone axe. That's one hand. River pride choker. That's really, really good. Freaking four strength, nine stand. We will use that now. Uh, it has a legendary enchant. We have to get off it though. Glimmering male girdle. Also an upgrade. Oh, slayer sash. Technically a better upgrade. Band of Argus. Wow, they put really good stuff in here, guys. And Slayer Shoulder Guards. Guys, wow. Like, I feel like I'm actually getting gear that I need while I'm PvPing. That's so cool. Yeah, I'll take that. <laughs> Yeah, I have no clue what that was. Let's see what we get. Okay, just the Interceptor first. I'll definitely take it. My first true gap closer, and it's a freaking stunned boot. Yeah, we did pretty well. We did actually get into this BG late, so I did do good in killing blows, but I did not do the best in damage. But, uh, you know, the build is really good, actually. I'm pretty surprised. We got a flag cap at the end, too, so not too bad. Level 30, guys. Even when you feel low, you can still go. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. Even when there's no hope, you can still go. I never answered a no, man, I still go Go, 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 go Hustle out, hustle every single day I'll be making moves till I'm buried in my grave To the system, I don't wanna be a slave I've been doing shit my way For the highway and in the driveway Is a nice range Cause I grind through the climb, I invite Okay, I think we basically got ourselves to a point where we're very OP. I don't know how we ended up doing this with a build like this, but it just seems to be the case that I'm super strong. As you guys could see from the previous clips, I dominated the last two BGs I'm in. I'm 39, even though I lost the last one, but I still dominated. I'm level 39 right now, and it's looking like we're gonna have a win. Because there's uh, this little level 30 Turbo XD. <laughs> All right, that guy's dead. Oh, this guy shows up. Will you hit me? He did hit me. He's gonna die. I have literally no fear. Um, basically, all I do right now is spam the SS. I do go for the uh, S and D when I can. I can just interrupt that, and uh, sometimes I go for the mind blast if I think they're gonna, yeah, if I think they're gonna heal. But <laughs> this guy got destroyed. Now, one really cool talent I've gone into is actually mental 
quickness and that's going to be in the enhancement shaman tree giving me 40 percent of my ap and turning it into sp that's the basic gist of it let's destroy this guy real quick oh my god turbo xd i'm so sorry dude can i just uh wind shear into the mind blast look at that damage look at that all right that guy's dead can i just disengage back to you oh my god this guy hurts can we kill him i don't have wind shear if i had wind shear i'd i'd, I'd be like maybe oh oh come on come on die 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 oh we got him at the end oh oh my god the bet wow so yeah guys as you can see we're already level 40 and i can't get any more xp from this i believe yeah i reached the level bracket so i'm gonna leave so i don't have to just like farm people for the next 10 minutes that don't deserve it but guys holy crap let's see what we get by the way immolate corruption regrowth okay i'll go regrowth i think for sure another little heal hot something over time why not i've upgraded my gear guys i have an obsidian cleaver i have a wicked chain chest piece i've got all sorts of really good stuff the raging berserkers helmet which was really really good i bought all the pvp gear i told you guys i'd be going for up to the level 28 set and we've just been dominating with it guys and uh i gotta say this is actually a lot of fun it's literally ss spam but there's some nuance i use my dots i use my mind blast i've exorcismed uh but man that intercept and the disengage and the intimidation it's all so freaking strong uh and the pet damage you notice it we're gonna start going into things like frenzy too to give it more attack speed and I've been going into my pet talents as well, which is pretty good You can see I already had the boar speed in those clips But now I can go for six percent more damage with all attacks and we'll keep going in that same kind of direction Go for maybe culling the herd next so this is just going so much better than I thought it would guys I just thought to myself, dude, check Tenaris. Check the gadgets in area. See if somebody's there. I found somebody. I marked them beforehand in the city. I went out to where I thought they might be, and I still got it, man. Like, even though high risk is not as populated as it used to be, the old tricks I had still worked, and we found somebody equal level, and look at all the blues, dude. I got his Eldritch Knight enchant. A random recipe of some kind, and also death grips, which is really interesting. Disarm duration reduced. I actually like that. Level 57 though but that's really interesting so yeah that's awesome guys i bet you did not think you would see a high risk pvp kill in a video for a long freaking time at least till tbc and outland right especially not tanaris though outside of Fellforge. Yeah, I'm actually so happy that happened. Okay, but that is 42, by the way. So, brand new ability, Flash of Lights. Ghostly Strike, interesting. Ambush, oh, even more interesting. Okay, so I actually wonder if one of the ways to play this build with the Hemorrhage is with Ambush as well. That's because you can use things like Rush of Blood, which is an enchant that if I remember correctly as I type it, let's see, it's going to make it to where when I Hemorrhage, my Ambush procs. Is that right? Increase the critical strike chance of Hemorrhage by 20%. Hemorrhage crits allow Ambush to be used exactly so yeah i actually did end up picking up stealth uh i don't remember what level it was but i thought yeah there was like no other good stuff uh and i picked it for this specific purpose so it turns out we did a good thing ambush is not good now but it will be good later and i want to work for the future right so we'll see if we can pull that hemorrhage and really bring this build together by the way dominator is dominating i'm not replacing him with anything anytime soon i think uh i really like the pig pet to be honest okay another quick bg barely got to play it level 44 corruption thunderclap hunter's mark i don't think we're actually gonna want to use any of this but thunderclap's probably the best of the bunch so we'll go with that okay listen up guys this uh just came out yesterday night for me and uh so i want to get this video out to Today, which is like an hour from when I'm currently recording this gotta go fast So it's gonna be a little bit of a shorter episode, but we've done some long ones recently if you want to see Part two where we continue the build and we play it at 60 and uh, hopefully we get some really good abilities and check out some max level content before TBC drops uh, Make sure to give this video a like and or let me know in the comment section below But anyway guys like I said like or subscribe or both. I'll see you in the next video McDoubles out
Oh, and by the way, don't worry, we will do another Nightmare Iron Man Part 2 video. Uh, I don't know when, it will happen though, but there's a lot of content that's going to be coming out uh, very rapidly, very soon. So, it could be very soon, or it could be a week from now, I don't know, but it will happen, so don't worry.